Hey guys, thank you for watching the Slat Rock channel, and today we present you with our WWE Payback 2017 predictions. We're gonna start off with the kickoff match. It's Enzo and Big Cass versus Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. Enzo Amore and Big Cass have clashed with Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson since both teams became members of the Raw roster last year. They were involved in everything from ladder matches to street fights to capture the tag team belts. I think it's fair to say that these two teams have taken a back seat ever since the Hardys returned to WWE. They will be serious contenders only after the Hardy Boys lose the titles. Until then, they have all the time to impress fans with their mic skills and in-ring work. Our prediction? Although WWE has no serious plans for either team as of now, I think that they should book Enzo and Big Cass to win the match, considering their recent losses on Raw, and most importantly, it's high time they have a win before they lose their charisma. Next up, Neville puts the WWE Cruiserweight title on the line against Austin Aries. The Cruiserweight segment on Raw was considered a bathroom break or time to go grab a hot dog. Neville entered the scene and helped keep the Cruiserweight division from dying. The interest among fans further increased ever since Austin Aries joined the scene. Both Neville and Austin Aries have put on an absolute Cruiserweight classic during the WrestleMania 33 kickoff show. Vinnie Mac was so impressed that they were rewarded with a spot on the main card this time. This has all the potential to be a show-stealing match. Our prediction? Although we'd like to see Ares dethrone the King of the Cruiserweights, I think WWE doesn't want Neville to lose his heel heat. So guys, Neville will retain his championship with some help from TJ Perkins. It'll be great to see how they bring Kalisto into the scene to work with Neville. Guys, this'll still be a bathroom break if it's not booked properly going forward. Next up, the Hardy Boys defend the Raw Tag Team Championships against Sheamus and Cesaro. 75,000 fans were pleasantly surprised to see the Hardy Boys return and win the tag belts at this year's WrestleMania. On the other hand, the Celtic Warrior and the Swiss Superman have won over fans with their in-ring work every single time, be it house shows, live events, or pay-per-views. Our prediction? The Hardy Boys will retain the belts considering it's their first title defense. We can expect a lot of high-flying moves. Guys, I'm also expecting Sheamus and Cesaro to turn heel. Hope Vinnie Mac doesn't destroy a great talent like Cesaro in the process. Moving on, Seth Rollins vs. Samoa Joe. We all know that Seth freaking Rollins emerged victorious over Triple H at WrestleMania 33, but he still has unfinished business with the destroyer Samoa Joe, the man who injured his leg prior to WrestleMania 33. We all expected Joe to intervene during the Rollins Triple H match at WrestleMania 33, but that didn't happen. Our prediction? Joe has not been pinned or submitted in a singles match since debuting on the main roster. I think it's important for WWE to have him be the badass, no nonsense heel. Despite Rollins' victory over Triple H at WrestleMania 33, Samoa Joe should win this to build him up as a legitimate threat on the main roster. Next up, Bayley defends the Raw Women's Championship against Alexa Bliss. Thanks to the superstar shakeup, we have a fresh matchup here as Bayley defends against the two-time SmackDown Women's Champion Alexa Bliss. Bliss, who has been pushed well as of late, won the Fatal 4-Way match on Raw at the expense of the dominant Nia Jax and has been an impressive performer. Our prediction? That being said, we're predicting Bayley to walk out of here as champion. The Raw Women's title has been passed around too much over the past year between Bayley, Charlotte, and Sasha Banks and deserves some stability. Next up, Kevin Owens defends the United States Championship against Chris Jericho. Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho's storyline is one of the most remarkable storylines from the recent past. Fans enjoyed their friendship and hated when they split. Thanks to the superstar shakeup, KO landed on SmackDown and has already been branded as the face of America. On the other hand, Chris Jericho, thanks to DDP Yoga, is still able to dance with the young guys in the ring. Our prediction? We all predicted that KO would walk out as US Champion at WrestleMania 33. Likewise, the rematch this Sunday at Payback is quite obvious too. KO will retain the US title, as Jericho is all set to take a break from WWE to tour with Fozzy. Next up, Randy Orton vs Bray Wyatt House of Horrors match. Bray Wyatt fans felt happy when he won the WWE Championship at Elimination Chamber. His loyal disciple Randy Orton decided not to challenge him at WrestleMania 33 after winning the 2017 Royal Rumble. The story took a new twist when Orton showed his true colors by showing up at the Wyatt Sanctuary and burning down Sister Abigail's house. The two faced off at WrestleMania with Orton winning the title. Now, firstly, WWE made a mistake in letting Orton win the title at WrestleMania, and now the rematch is no longer for the WWE Championship. I think Vince doesn't like the title to be on Bray because he's not a big, sweaty, muscular guy. Our prediction? 
The fact that Bray hasn't won in so many pay-per-views, and the fact that the WWE Championship stipulation has been removed could indicate a Wyatt win. There is a curiosity element attached to this match as nobody knows what a House of Horrors match even is. Next up, Roman Reigns vs Braun Strowman. Fastlane 2017 witnessed the Roman Empire conquer the monster among men, Braun Strowman. Their rematch this Sunday at Payback will be interesting to say the least. Strowman's current monster push is way over with the fans. WWE found a main eventer in the form of this guy. He is most likely to face Brock Lesnar in the near future. Just imagine guys, Monster meets the Beast. Now, coming to the finish, having Braun lose both matches against Reign would make a future clash with Lesnar harder to sell. A victory here will surely see him enter the WWE Universal Championship picture whenever Brock Lesnar decides he wants to defend it. I am predicting Braun to win over Roman Reigns. Guys, those are our predictions. Who do you think are going to win the matches at Payback? Drop us a comment below and let us know. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one, and don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you can get notified every time we upload a new video. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, and as always guys, thanks for watching.